Dear learners, the topic of this session is on calculating a limit when f of x divided by g of s has the indeterminate form 0 by 0. 0 by 0 in mathematics we call it as an indeterminate form. Another good example is infinity divided by infinity is indeterminate. So infinity to the power of infinity is an indeterminate, indeterminate form. So we have a lot of set of indeterminate forms in mathematics. So we have a defined solution, an undefined solution, an indeterminate form solution when you are applying a limit. So how to solve this issue when you are applying the limit? This is a today's discussion. So limit x tends to 2x minus 2, that is my f of x, divided by x square minus 2 times x, that is my g of x. So I'm going to apply a limit for this function. So how to apply limit replace x by 2. So 2 minus 2 for the numerator form. Divide by denominator 2 square minus 2 times 2. If you are simplify the numerator, you will get 0. And if you are simplify the denominator, you will get 0. So this form we call it as indeterminate form. IF, you can call it as in an easy way, indeterminate form. Now, how to solve this issue if indeterminate comes when you are applying the limit? So, since f of x and g of x of this question, example question, is a polynomial, we can go for factorization method. Limit x tends to 2. Since f of x numerator is a linear, we can go by a single factor it is already the x minus 2. Now denominator g of x form is a quadratic polynomial. I can take x as a common factor it becomes x minus 2. Now see I can scratch x minus 2 and x minus 2. A multiplicative common factor with the denominator factor x minus 2. Then apply the limit. When I am applying the limit numerator is 1 divide by x in the denominator, I can apply x as 2. See, I got a defined value. So, for 0 by 0 form, when the function is in the polynomial, please apply a factorization concept. Let's try to scratch or try to eliminate one factor, then apply the limit value, you will get a defined value. I'll explain with one more example, another good example. The limit of x tends to 4, x approaches to 4, x to the power of 2 minus 16 in the numerator, divide by denominator as x minus 4. See, I'm going to apply the limit, okay, x, has, x is going to take 4, so 4 power 2 minus 16, and divide by 4 minus 4, if I simplify the numerator, I will get 0 as a answer and the denominator 4 minus 4 becomes 0. So 0 by 0 we call it as indeterminate form IF. So how to solve this issue? So since limit x tends to 4, the numerator form is a polynomial I can factorize using a square minus b square form. What is the expansion of a square minus b square? a plus b times a minus b x power 2 minus 16 can be written as x plus 4 into x minus 4. Now denominator is x minus 4 since it is a linear for, for, form of polynomial. We can go ahead with as it is x minus 4. Now see which is a common factor we can eliminate x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 is 1. Now apply the limit x tends to 4 x taking 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 a defined value okay understand this idea if you have any uh, questions related to this indeterminate form problems please drop it in the comment box i will solve it and send it to you to all the learners okay i will explain with more example so i'm moving my screen so three third example for you so a limit of Okay, limit of x approaches to 1, x approaches to 1, x 
cube minus 1 divided by x power 2 minus 1. See this one, numerator form, function form is a cubical polynomial divided by denominator. We have a quadratic polynomial. If I apply the limit, for example, I'm applying limit x tends to 1, replacing x by 1, 1 cube minus 1 divided by 1 square minus 1. This becomes 0 by 0 form. We call it as indeterminate form, IF. So how to solve this issue? Okay, so factorization is a advisable concept to get the defined value of limit. So a cube minus b cube, x cube minus 1. Okay, so I can go by a cube minus b cube expansion, a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b power 2, x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1. Here a is x and b is 1. Divide by denominator. It's a quadratic polynomial. I can once again already I explained the previous problem. I can then go with uh, a plus b into a minus b as a factor. Now which is a common factor? Uh, we can scratch okay x minus 1 is a common factor, multiplicative factor. We can scratch with the denominator factor x minus 1. Come on, now apply the limit. Apply the limit in the place of x as 1. 1 square plus 1 plus 1 in the numerator divided by 1 plus 1 in the denominator. If you are simplified, it becomes 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 is a defined answer. It's a limit value of limit x approaches to 1 for the function x cube minus 1 divided by x square minus 1. Okay, now another form. Suppose the f of x divided by g of x is not a polynomial. Okay, a rational form or radical form or shut forms available in the denominator means how to proceed. So consider this example. Limit x tends to negative 3 square root of x plus 4 minus 1 divided by divided by x plus 3. I am applying limit for this. Okay. See numerator f of x form is not a polynomial. So this is not a polynomial. This is okay we call it as this term we call it a shared forms or a radical form square root term or you consider as root of x plus 4 minus 1 divided by x plus 3. I am applying the limit. So what is the limit value now? So root of negative 3 plus 4 minus 1 divided by negative 3 plus 3. So what is the solution? If you simplify this, okay, if you simplify this, you will get 0 by 0. That is called indeterminate form IF. So how to solve this one? If it is a radical form or square root terms available in the numerator, please apply rationalization concept okay what is rationalization so I want to rationalize the form okay rational form limit x tends to minus 3 root of x plus 4 minus 1 divide by x plus 3 multiply and divide by its conjugate root of x plus 4 plus 1 divided by square root of x plus 4 plus 1. This idea is called a rationalization. Multiply and divide by conjugate. Okay, now start simplifying by multiplying the numerator. If I multiply the numerator, okay, extend, limit extends to negative 3. I am multiplying the numerator root of x plus 4 minus 1 times the square root of x plus 4 plus 1. It is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. So root of x plus 4 to the power of 2 a power 2 minus b power 2 divided by denominator if I multiply x plus 3 is a factor time root of square root of x plus 4 plus 1. Understand this? So I did by applying multiplying the factor 
a square minus b square form in the numerator. Uh, so multiplying the numerator become a square minus b square form divide by multiplying the denominator x plus 3 factor times root of x plus 4 plus 1 form I return here. So how to simplify the numerator? So we can scratch square root and square. We can scratch square root and square. Okay. So numerator become limit of x tends to 3 x plus 4 minus 1 square is 1 divide by denominator is x plus 3 times square root of x plus 4 plus 1. Now simplify the numerator. So x plus 4 minus 1 uh, become x plus 3. Now I can scratch this common multiplicative factor with the denominator x plus 3. So numerator become 1 now, divide by denominator is root of x plus 4 plus 1. Apply the limit, replace x by 3 now, 1 in the numerator, divide by root of 1 plus 4 plus 1 in the denominator. So simplify this, 1 divide by root of, square root of, okay sorry, limit as negative 3, okay. So make the x approaches to negative 3 okay I'm applying as negative 3 in the place of x okay so limit applying x takes negative 3 means square root of negative 3 plus 4 plus 1 if you simplify numerator become 1 denominator is 1 plus 1 become 1 upon 2 see I'm gonna explaining the complete problem once again when you applying the limit for the shut form or radical form of this, you will get 0 by 0 and uh, uh, simplifying by uh, to get, def get the defined value, multiply and divide by conjugate, I am applying the rationalization, multiply and divide by conjugate, multiply the numerator using a square minus b square form, multiplying the denominator x plus 3 into root of x plus 4 plus 1. Simplifying the numerator square root square root get cancelled x plus 4 minus 1 become x plus 3 I can scratch with x plus 3 so apply the limit you will get the defined value as 1 upon 2 is it clear if you have any question you can drop in my comment box thank you